We built the Chrysler building and the Flatiron building. And then uh, there's a scene where the Chrysler building dome hits the street. And uh, again, one of my favorite shots because it's a model, it's a 24 scale model uh, that we built. It's the Hudsucker buildings and we built all the storefronts for that. So we got to dress all the storefronts in. And in the scene, it falls and all the people running are, are people that were shot and composited into the scene. Most people would think that it's a street scene with, a, with the dome being composited in it, but it's actually the other way around. It's the people composited in everything else is a miniature element. So that was, a, that was a really effective way of using those models and doing that effect. That was a bad, a bad summer for the, the uh, Chrysler building because the summer we destroyed the Chrysler building for Godzilla, we also built the one that was destroyed in Armageddon. Um, see, that was the only reason they hired us, because we used the same mold. Uh, built the pieces. They, were, they, they function in a different way, but uh, yeah, we use the same sort of parts. And uh, I think to this day, those, those eagle gargoyles that were on it you know, like appear in uh, you know, eBay or something as you know, someone picked them up and was trying to sell them from that show. So Wherever we could find buildings, we would bring them in and we rebuild them. None of the buildings we had had uh, street level uh, details, so we had to uh, jack all the buildings up and build new street level details on them and, uh, uh, and New Deal Studios built the Chrysler building for us and uh, um, Cinema Production Services made um, Madison Square Garden for us and a couple other small things. And I think Cinnabar made some other miniatures. So we had a lot of different companies that I would coordinate as they, the miniatures came into the set. We would take them over and uh, you know, add our own our own work to them and set them up and shoot them. And then Joe Viscozzo was doing all the effects on it. And uh, we had a uh, a truck. There's a scene where Godzilla picks up this truck and drops it. And um, we were rigging it. Uh, the effects guys were rigging it actually. And um, it was up and it was just being held by one little hook. And um, it seems that something went wrong. I was in my office at the time, but it, um, just as they uh, pulled the safety pin out, the mall released and crashed on the table into a thousand pieces. And, and of course, we hadn't shot it yet, so um, the producer, you know, came in and you know, uh, basically, you know, told me that I had to have it back together again in a short time. And luckily, you know. Model makers are, are very creative people, and, and we have hot stuff. You know, we have instant glues. So, you know, if Humpty Dumpty fell apart today, I mean, we put them back together again, and we did exactly that. We put the truck together again, and when it hit the ground this time, it really broke apart, and um, it looked a lot better than it would have if the first time. So we kind of pre-broke it. Um. <laughs>